Hello, my friends. Catherine here from Catherine Puller Designs. I have some special guests with me today, and I cannot be responsible for anything that happens in this video. I'm just going to give the disclaimer right now. <laughs> yes, prepare yourself. <laughs> These ladies are very Out excited to stamp with me today. This is Susan, and this is Debbie. They run our wholesale program here at Catherine Puller Designs. If you are anywhere in the world and you have a scrapbooking and stamping store near you, and they don't carry our products, let them know about us mm -hmm. because these two ladies are the ones that uh, get all the orders ready, they pack them up, they ship them, they love on our wholesalers and um, provide them with everything they need to provide our products to our customers all around the world. We love it, it's so exciting. We get so excited when we get to see the new stores, where yes. it's going, and we touch it all between we me and Debbie. All. We touch mm -hmm. all the product and, and yeah. fun, fun, say fun. goodbye out the door. <laughs> and they don't get to come on live that much, but from time to time they pop in. We so do. Erica is out today <clears throat> taking care of her kitties. So yeah. uh, hopefully she'll Love to the kitties. Um, maybe come in later today. But I said, everyone who's coming on live with me today. And we jumped right on. Yes. <laughs> and then I heard Susan said, someone said, it's the first day of fall today. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's but we've We've got... We're decking the halls up here. We're yeah. just jumping right over. Jumping right over. <laughs> Going <laughs> right into the holidays. We're ready. <laughs> so we have uh, some fun things planned for today. And also, as usual, we'll kind of be asking some questions along the way, way to kind of get you guys involved in what we're doing. And um, all I know is I'm creating with rainbow stockings. It nice. is beautiful. I'm excited to get so going. Let's check what out what's got? happening down here. Oh, look at that rainbow. I have been stamping already. Oh, one thing I didn't do was pull. No, I did. It's right here. Um, our holiday products hit the shop, or our new products, because we do have existing products in the shop already. But our new release for 2021 hit the shop last week. Uh, the nostalgic season has been very popular. How many of, the, of these have you shipped out? Lots. A ton. A ton. Mm -hmm. A ton. So I uh, wanted to do some more stamping with this. There's so many design possibilities with th this stamp set. And sometimes, or you may, you know, get at home and be like, oh, well, how do all these pieces work together? So we have a couple videos up already, and we have a layering guide. Mm -hmm. So this is your outline for the deer. <gasps> you know what? My speaker something. on is okay. My speaker is on over there in okay. the corner. And it's really hot in here. Do you want to go give us yes. a degree or two? <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, you go turn that air down. Okay, so this outline goes on top of this guy. And then there's three pieces to make his nose if you want to make him Rudolph. So there's lots going on in this set and ways to use these stamps that you may not think of. So make sure you grab our layering guide. Mm -hmm. I will add it to the YouTube description when we're done with the video. But it's also... You know, you guys, our shop is a resource. So if you yes. go to shop.catherinepooler.com and you look for, use the search bar, type in nostalgic season, you're going to find the product page. It's gonna have sample cards right there for you to get inspired by. And it also has the layering guide right there. So definitely use that as a resource for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use this. I'm probably going to use the garland borders. This stamp set is really cool because it has the snowflakes as a garland. It has the mistletoe, holly garland, and it has this garland. Depending on how you stamp it, it's gonna be quote unquote different things. It could be red for cranberries. It could mm. be, you can emboss it mm -hmm. in gold or silver. And then it's like a beaded garland. You can do it in color. Um, Maybe you want to do it in yellow and then do glitter over the top of it, and then it's like lights. Mm -hmm. So many possible. Oh, so many that. ideas. And then this one is our new sentiment set called Near or Far. We thought this was great for the 2021 holiday season. Last year, lots of us were kind of locked away and had a bit different Christmas. And hopefully, many of us are able to get out this year and see friends and family. But whether you are going to see friends and family or not, there's lots of different sentiments in here from wish we could be there to we'll be together soon. I can't wait, this is my favorite stamp personally. <laughs> Missing you from afar. And then I'll be home for Christmas. Merry Christmas, remembering you this Christmas. So this hits 
friends and family that you will be with and you won't be with. So nice. I love that. Yep. I have done a little stamping already. I wanted to kind of rewind a little bit for a second for those of you that may be new to stamping. So is there anyone on the live or watching on the replay that is new to stamping? I'm gonna use the Midnight Ink Pad. I can get the lid off. Sometimes the Midnight gets a little sticky. And you know what? First, let me stamp a sentiment. Mm. <clears throat> Keely said she didn't get, she didn't pick this one up with her initial order, but she wants to go back and pick it up. Nice. This is just, I think it's my Timeless. favorite for mm -hmm. sure. It's so, it just, it's the perfect name because it reminds me of Christmas at my grandparents' house. Oh yeah, and it goes with the grandma's attic patterned paper, so it's all with a nostalgic feel, which For is sure. really fun. So we'll be together soon. Love that sentiment, so cute. And that font, this is hand lettered by Lacey, just one of our illustrators. Mm, and then beautiful. Maybe I'll just do like, Oh, cute. cute. I the love when you stamp is. off the edge. That is some so fun. Such a cool technique. Thanks. It makes it look more random. It does. What if I do upside down? Oh, yeah. Too? And then it's cute. just like stockings everywhere. Very whimsical. Mm -hmm. Like you pulled the box out from the attic and you just thrown it everywhere. Like <laughs> yeah. you, gotta, you gotta like decorate the den. Time to get ready for Christmas. Aww. Okay. So really, you could leave it black and white, and that is really cute. And it makes me, um, it kind of brings me back to those coloring books when I was a kid. Mm. You know, just start out with a black and white palette. And then if you want to add color, this set is really easy to do that. So there are three pieces to the stocking. So this is for the top, the little cuff. This is for the middle, and that's for the toe. So you just stamp them right in there. And I was stamping these guys, and I only did the top and the bottom, which mm -hmm. is a fun look. So let's see, cute. what colors do I want to use? Maybe for this one, I just want to use pink, green, and teal. How about that? I love some pink Christmas. Style. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll do two of each. Mm -hmm. So let's do the toe first. Oh, it's the lining up. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you said that because this stamp set has a whimsical feel that and it was happen. made mm -hmm. to look good even when you don't get it lined up perfectly. Mm -hmm. Nice. <clears throat> that was the kind set of for me. <laughs> created to have that uh, look to it. So, yay. Plus the blocks help you get right where it needs to be. Those blocks. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Girls, and then we'll move on. Melanice, you guys, <laughs> one of my favorite colors. Because I just used another color and this is really, really light, <clears throat> practice a little on scratch paper, make sure I don't um, have a dirty stamp, make sure that's nice and clean. Whoops. Mm, maybe, maybe this guy. Cute. I'm gonna do this guy too. Okay. Love me some green. I know, that's Debbie's favorite color. My favorite color is green, what can I say? What's your favorite Catherine Pooler <clears throat> green? Well, I like the, sort of the spa color. So anything in the green, the spa, the muted tones, okay. oh. the sage. Oh, you love sage, yeah, yeah. yeah. Love sage. that's definitely, I was gonna say Mardi Gras, cause I yeah. always think of you like party, Leprechaun, Mardi Gras. Uh, my birthday yeah, is in March. And your birthday's in March, so I think that's why I put put that associate oh, look at that how with cute you. That is. Oh my gosh. Oh come on. Okay. Yeah, come on. Oh, that is beautiful. Yes. See how it just comes to life is just amazing. <laughs> I'm just so amazed with all it. that jazz. Okay. Love it. That is so cute. Okay, and then you can just pop this onto a card base. So I have my cardstock already cut in half. Sorry, Debbie. No, you're fine. Grab this. Cut in half and then fold it in half. This was an eight and a half by 11. And then you can just adhere this right to your card front. 
lot of times when I have a single layer card like this, I like to pop this guy yes. up. Not just when I have a single layer. If you guys watch my videos a lot, you're gonna see me use this foam tape a ton, right? It just gives added dimension and interest to your card. It makes it look a little bit more um, professional, maybe? Mm -hmm. Sophisticated. It's just mm -hmm. that little extra oomph. Yeah, it just finishes it off. Mm -hmm. And all the products that you'll see me use today, we carry in our shop, shop.catherinepooler.com. If there's something specific you're looking for, you can use the search bar. I will also update the uh, description later to include links to and a list of all the products we use today. So if you How watch it adorable. on the replay, you like I it? Love it. One what? fun thing you could do is you could then come in and add just one stocking popped up. Oh, yeah, that's a I cute like that. little addition. Mm -hmm. Very cute. All right, so there's card number one. Then. If you have a die cut machine, um, you can cut out the stockings and then you can either stamp before or after. Mm -hmm. I've been stamping for like 20 years, so, um, and I still don't always line it up right, and that's okay. <laughs> but if you're worried about lining it up perfectly, you may want to stamp mm -hmm. and then do your uh, die cut over the top mm -hmm. of that. So which color do we want to use? We're going to make mm. make a card with just one stocking. I'm going to use pink, green, or blue. Which one? Well, I like green, so. <laughs> but Susan, you pick. Um, let's do pink. Let's do pink. I love <clears throat> the party dress and it's a girl. Mm -hmm. okay. Pink stockings. So party dress. Ooh. It's a girl. You know what? How I'm gonna make both of you, you happy. Do both. I know. Aww. Well, the pink and greens together. Yes. I love pink and green. I do too. Do we have any other pink and green lovers? Yes. There must be some. There out must there. be some. Let's, let's see. do melon ice and let's do it in the center here. <laughs> oh. Oh. How cute. oh. Wow. <gasps> wow. Yay. Yes. Okay. I love the mix and match. Yes. <laughs> yep. <That's> wow. <laughs> I love stamping with friends. I know. We're so <laughs> Because we're so excited. <laughs> oh, it's gosh. like a ha moment. Like, you just did what? That's so awesome. So this is our new scallops and dots dies. These are a must-have staple for your stash. I have already die cut two of these. I thought it would be a really fun layer. And then I wanted to do a sentiment. So I could do... That one's too long for that. I could do Missing You From Afar. Mm, that's cute. Uh, let's do Missing You From Afar. How's everyone doing, Susan? They are doing great. Tons of fans of pink and green. Yes. Christine says rainbows always make her smile. <laughs> I completely agree. The Circle Guru just got her nostalgic season. Ooh, how cute is this? Missing you from a oh. oh, yes. Oh, that is cute. I, <gasps> I mean, all you gotta do is like stamp and something cute and it just, I mean, who doesn't get happy over that? I'm happy. Where did the little note cards come from? I didn't even see you cut those she out. I looked for a minute. minute. I'm like, she looked away for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take this piece Speedy and Gonzales. pop it up. Oh, I love that. And then this will layer right over the scallop piece. And then I think that uh, stocking is gonna have to be popped up. Popped well. up, yeah. I think that's a great idea. And you need this. Thanks, no. Debs. You yeah, do? Oh, I do. It's a lucky guess. Look at Debbie anticipating my every <laughs> oh, need. She's getting my card base ready. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, this is hanging over the edge of the stocking a bit, so let me trim that. Whoops. And then we'll just pop this right up like that. that so is sweet. cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then our card base. That's a must-have tool right there. The bone folder. Yes. Yep. That's awesome. And now, if you don't have a die cut machine, if you are newer to stamping or you just never have bought a die cut machine, you could stamp that directly on, 
and it will be fine. Mm -hmm. um, now you could go white on white on white, mm -hmm. and I really love that look. I think it's really classy mm -hmm. and classic, and it just looks really nice. You could also grab a cover plate, and you can do that. Cute. This that is, is our so peppermint cute. twist candy cane cover plate from last year. So that would be really cute. Or maybe you just use something like this that's cute. really neutral and you do that. Or what if I use a piece of patterned paper? Oh, that's a good idea. So another little hmm. pop of color. Hmm. Oh, you have a piece of patterned paper, right? Oh, look how cute Whoa. that looks. Debbie. Debbie is being oh. a naughty little elf because this I am? is not really paper to me. <laughs> Sneak peeks. Uh-oh. Debbie. Well, you know I love green. I couldn't resist. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> I love it. You um, never know when we sneak in here, what's going right. to happen? I don't know. I think you might be banned from lives from now on. Right. <laughs> I mean, come. <gasps> now, come oh, on. Oh, that is adorable. All right. Okay. Yes. That you were naughty, nice. but you made a good choice. I'm a naughty elf. <laughs> so, you guys, elf, but it this, looks done this paper is actually going to hit our shop next week on Wednesday. And when Erica sees this live, mm -hmm. her head is going to spin around. Um, but we do have Debbie's fault. Uh -oh. <laughs> Where is um? Where's our other patterned paper? I gotcha. So we have go. some of our colors come in full packs of patterned paper. So we mm -hmm. have rock and red. And then you get just a monochromatic pack. We have Limoncello, Something Borrowed. We have Grape Crush. We have more than this. We have all that jazz. Yep. And Tutti Frutti. Tutti Frutti. Mm -hmm. So we almost have a rainbow here, you guys. So I wonder if you can guess what two colors are coming next. Ooh. Thanks, Debs. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so we've got two cards that we've made with these fun colors. I thought I would also make a slimline card. What do you guys think? I, I haven't love made it. a slimline card in a while because I wanted to get the whole rainbow, but I don't have enough room really to get the whole rainbow on one card. And do I have pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think those are gonna fit on a regular card. So a slimline card, let me show you how to cut that card stock. So we're gonna take a full eight and a half by 11 sheet of card stock and cut it at, hold on a minute, three and a half, seven. <clears throat> I haven't done this in a little while, so bear with me for a second. This way it goes seven. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I always have to double think this. I know it. You know math. Mm. I'm just going to be quiet and let you <laughs> cut. So Measure and cut. At three and a half, we're going to score it. Thanks, Debbie. Mm -hmm. And then we'll fold this. Mm -hmm. Where'd my bone folder go? Do we know? Right here. Thank you. We'll just crease that. And then this piece that I had left, we're going to die cut this. You know what? I can't use this because, well, you could. So this is our doodle, what is this called? Doodle circle? Dude, circle. doodle. Is it doodle, doodle circle? Who knows? I thought it would be fun to hang. Oh, cute. Hang one stocking from each window. Mm -hmm. or like, actually it won't fit into that one. So maybe you go this way one stocking in each window. Wouldn't that be that adorable? Is so, cute. so there's a good idea for your doodle window. Do it like that. Mm -hmm. But I want to do the whole rainbow, so that's not going to work. Luckily, I have already cut a layer here, so I can just mm -hmm. use this. Actually, I need to cut a little bit off of here. Do you have a yep. paper cutter? Okay, so I'll just trim a quarter inch off and then misty. So we need a garland for the mm -hmm. stockings to hang, the to hang stockings. From. And I'm gonna scoop these aside so I have a little okay. more room. Mm -hmm. And we'll 
grab this guy. I, th I think I'm going to use this one. Love so it. what, yes, what color should we stamp this in? I'm wondering if I should do red so it's berries. Because I, I don't have red in the red. stockings. I was wondering, mm -hmm. wondering about neutral. And then make them shiny oh. like a butt. Mm -hmm. red, I, red was my first thought. Let's do you red. only have one pink you want red, and still so a little bit of red. <gasps> Thanks. Let's do rouge. rouge. Oh, ooh. Could do rouge. You could do rock and red. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll do a garland of berries. And that will help round out that rainbow. One thing. Um, oh, well, I was thinking I would uh, emboss. Yes, then, yes. Um, oh. <gasps> I'm not really in an embossing mood today. So there. That's and adorable. It's <laughs> I always volunteered our services, and then I thought, oh, <laughs> And it's a little bit heavier on the edges like that, which looks really cool because it gives it a dimensional look. Mm -hmm. I did not do that on purpose. It's just kind of how the ink pooled when I was inking and stamping. And I think it looks like a real really red cool. cranberry. Yeah. It's super cool, which makes me so happy because when I think about cranberry garland, I feel like we always talked about that in school where you'd make the... Yes. Popcorn on a string, mm -hmm. yes. and then you would do cranberries in between. And I would always come home and beg my mom to do it. And she was like, there's no way we're doing that. That's too messy. <laughs> well, we had to do the links. We did remember the links. Remember the links? Oh, the countdown right? to Christmas? Yes. And then you would put the links and you would string them all together because the popcorn was messy. That yes. popcorn I was agree. messy. And we would so much fun. <laughs> we would eat the popcorn. There's That's no fun. way there was enough for us to <laughs> make the <laughs> organ <laughs> or the <laughs> dog. Right. Exactly. Let's see. But the links, I, because we would count down to Christmas. Mm hmm And I loved that. And that's definitely old school. For it, sure. Well, not that old. Well. But older. Yes. <laughs> Nostalgic. <laughs> exactly. I'm going off the page here. That's. I think that's gonna work out just fine. I'm cracking up with you guys. So Weird. what I'm hearing you say, one, <laughs> this cranberry garland brings you back to oh, your childhood, totally. yes. which is fantastic mm -hmm. because that's what this bundle is all about. Yes. Nostalgic Christmas. And then you said your mom said no, ma'am. That's but right. Have you done that for your kiddos? A no, ma'am. <laughs> Now I'm the one that has to vacuum the popcorn. That's right. <laughs> now but I can relate to why would she said no. <laughs> there's no. And there's no way. We would eat it too quickly, especially my children. They love popcorn. So it wouldn't stick around long enough. All right, you guys. That's mm. what happens when you go off your misty. Right. <laughs> so nothing that a blender can, pen can fit for. True. Oh, true. Oh, Debbie, nice. Thank you. Well, I have to... So if you have a little spot, like I do, that didn't get fully inked, just grab your blender pen. This is basically a clear marker. Pick up your ink color and you can color in with it and then no one will ever know that nope. you missed that. And then that. when Perfection. you are you ready to switch out the color when you're all done, just grab a scratch paper, scribble that tip off, and boom, you're ready for the next color. Love problem solving. And then we're just gonna hang these from the oh. cranberry garland. Oh. Seriously. Wow. So cute. And right now I don't have room for a sentiment. I could just do a little, I can't wait. You know what? I had right here. Right there. Uh huh. You can right yes. over the little. Precious. Oh, oh that is cute. Okay, let me glue these down. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel like they should be popped up, but that will take me a little bit of time. So I can cut. We can cut. Mm -hmm. We can do that. What do we do? Where's that roll? Susan, grab that roll. You have two helpers now. What do you need, hon? <laughs> Let's still do can't every other. That out. Let's do every other. Okay, so let me give you a little strip. Okay. So how are our friends? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on over there? What's the happening? Everyone's saying hello. They're loving the cards. They're so happy to see Debbie. <laughs> they love the slim line. They like the sneak. <laughs> what sneak? Ooh. I don't know. Oh, wow. What are you talking about? Oops. Wait until Erica finds out. Erica. Whoopsie. Hopefully. Look away, Erica. Hopefully yeah. she's not Look watching. And she's and Erica, no, no. <laughs> she's here. I saw her come oh, in. Oh, Erica? Is? She's here. I, I saw love her. You. I'm sorry. Yes. 
I love you. She I'm sent us sorry. Kiss, she sent us kisses from oh, she did. the sidewalk, but she didn't see us sneak. That was before we did one more little piece. piece. Oh, one more little piece. Mm -hmm. Two more pieces. Thank you. Little big. Uh, for this, for the I can't wait. Okay, that's oh you guys. This, this is adorable. Truly. I think I need do I need some sequins? I was just Always. thinking about that. Okay. I don't know. You know me with sequins, gotta have it. <laughs> well, Debbie and Eric are the ones in charge of sequins, so of this course is Debbie true. loves them. I love them. Oh, so it's what okay. are you, oh, oh my gosh, it's so okay. cool. That's adorable. And then where's my oh, card wait. base? Where'd it go? It's over here. I Here, oh, I took it. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'm just so excited. And then, should we pop this up too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's pop it up. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to grab some sequins. Let me see. Wintergreen. What about Crater Lake? Mm-hmm. Okay. Where are your sequins? Right, right behind us. Right behind. Crater Lake. Ooh. Or, I'm anything gonna do else you see? Babes in well, Toyland? Well, Christmas Cove. No. Red. What about oh. Babes in Toyland? Thank you, Debbie. Babes in Toyland, that's... It's a, not Babes no, in Toyland. No, that's Laurel and Hardy. You're thinking Hardy. of Mistletoe. No. Babes in Toyland. Nor that's Laurel Pole. and Hardy. That's an old movie. Babes it's in Toyland. It's, it's <laughs> North Pole. <laughs> Pole. Babes in Toyland. That's with Laurel and Hardy. Come on. Who doesn't love that Nor old Pole. movie? Yes. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Watch of the Wooden Soldiers. That's a staple in my house oh. on Thanksgiving. I'm sorry. That is so funny. <laughs> We're out of control. Okay, I have North Pole. Okay, that is hilarious that I was just calling. <gasps> oh yeah, we yeah. need that. Yeah, that we without even. It would be cute if I did like pink sequins on here, <gasps> orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Can we make that happen? Yes. That sounds yes. a little, um, a little. Uh... But we're gonna do it because you've got two helpers. So okay. let's see here. I'm gonna. I also want to put bells on the toes. <laughs> bells, yes. Cause my stocking. Okay, so I got pink. Oh, this isn't. What is the word I'm looking for? It it's a little um, like too uh, enthusiastic. It's too overzealous. Uh, what is? Do you guys know when you're like thinking of a word and you just can't? You can't think of it. That because I really day. don't need to think of this word right now, but now it's bothering me. There's blue. Here's one that looks yellowish. Mm -hmm. So I just need orange, orange and, and I need purple. Orange so I think we're going to have to pull, like if you see Miami or, and I could do a couple splatters of different lines if I wanted to. That's good cool. for orange. Like when you take on more than you can actually do, what is that called? Um, could be ambitious. overzealous, but that's not the word I'm looking for. Now it's bothering Only me. Ambitious? It's yes. too oh, ambitious. Too ambitious. It's too ambitious. Look at that. <laughs> Um, but that doesn't fit. It's not. You're no, not scared of that. Wait, I don't. That doesn't like that fit into yes. my world. Can you just be pulled? That's okay. not in your vocabulary. Mm -mm. There's no such well, thing. Well, it's not in mine either, but I don't know where it came from. I'm going to just make this decision for you and plop it on the car. <laughs> and this little orange ones are so cute. cute. I don't want to make this flower. Oh, that's adorable. Look at how adorable, honestly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sequins everywhere. I feel like I need one here too because I have one like so between like every single. Out. So There's that one right there, that little yellow. This one. one? Oh, what about this one? <gasps> mm -hmm. Yes, that one. Yes. All right. So fun. That's adorable. What are yeah. our friends saying? Overcommitted. Oh, they're back. <laughs> they love yeah. the movie Babes in Toyland. I know. I'm I'm behind. I'm not. As quick as Erica, because I got excited. I got distracted with the sparkle, and then I <laughs> forgot right. I had a we job. We went off. That's it okay. doesn't take us long. <laughs> All right, you guys. They love it. They say it's cute. Oh, the qu a question. What were the measurements of the, sli the slimline card? Um, cut your card stock. Do I have here? This way, at seven inches. And then score at three and a half. And a half. Mm -hmm. So this this will be eight and a half inches, and then go over seven inches, cut, and then score in half at three and a half. Adorable. Yeah. Bada boom. That's Bada -boom. that. Amazing. Just beautiful. That was fun. That was super fun. That was I love fun. it. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> that was a blast.
us. Here, I'll high five you too. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for letting us crash. We had yes, a great time. Thank you. We had fun. So, yeah, that was fun. That was awesome. Happy I will update Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Happy fall, y'all. I will <laughs> update the link deli below or the link, the description below with the links and the product descriptions and everything mm -hmm. listed out. Uh, next Wednesday, we have What's in Wednesday, so we have a few new products hitting the shop. Uh, <laughs> if you are not on our newsletter list, you can head over to shop.catherinepluler.com and get on that list and let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we're always here to help. And we appreciate you hanging out with us today. Always. Thanks for having me. Day. It was All great. Right. Bye. Bye, guys.